All right, let's find the limit as x goes to zero, whoops, as x goes to zero of one minus cosine x over two x. So for this one, um, my first instinct is to check the trig identities. There's a cosine one, I think. There's a sine one, sine x over x. Limit as x goes to zero of sine x over x equals one, yeah. and a couple mm -hmm. other ones. But we're actually, what we're probably going to want to do is multiply this by um, that. One plus cosine x. This is called the conjugate of this top thing. Oh, yeah. And when you do that, you're going to get that trig identity, which is one minus cosine squared x all over 2x times 1 plus cosine x. So is that the same thing as like the conjugate? Or it is the conjugate, yeah. You you, so you can do the conjugate without having like the square root of something? All conjugate means when we're talking about this is um, the, the, the whole idea behind the conjugate is that a plus b times a minus b just gets rid of the middle that equals a squared plus ab minus ab, so those go away. The middle, the outside, and the inside go away, minus b squared. That's the value of the conjugate concept. So when I see a one minus cosine, if I multiply by one plus cosine, I'm gonna get one squared minus cosine squared. And the reason that's so nice when it comes to trig or square roots is the square roots, it gets rid of your square roots. Mm -hmm. If you have a square root minus a square root, a square root plus a square root, it gets rid of the middle terms mm -hmm. and it squares everything, so it gets rid of your square roots. Same with complex numbers, imaginary numbers, it gets rid of your i. Your i's are the square roots of a negative one. So that's what multiplying by the conjugate does, and that's why we did that. And isn't there like certain trig rules that has like cosine squared of x? Mm -hmm. like, isn't and like so that's now this, it? right here, if you remember, sine squared plus cosine squared equals one, that's just... Um, your, your basic trig identity, your um, Pythagorean trig identity, and you can manipulate this, move it around however you want. So sine squared would equal one minus cosine squared. So okay. that's what we have right there. Mm -hmm. We have one minus cosine squared. So that equals sine squared of x over two x times one plus cosine of x. And now, um, let's see, can I plug in zero? I still can't plug in zero, so I wanna now try to get, I wanna try to get this right here. I wanna get rid of that X right there somehow. How do you know that you couldn't plug in zero? Well, cause I still would get zero over zero. I would still get zero oh, over zero. Oh, cause it's like two times zero. Like, yeah. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is rewrite this as sine X over X. I'm pulling that out times sine x over 2 times 1 plus cosine of x. And I, I, so I just rewrote that because I know this thing right here, the limit as x goes to 0 of that thing, this is, this is that one main rule that you have there. Yeah. It's the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x. That's 1. It equals 1. So that that means now I just have the limit oh, as x goes to out. zero uh -huh, of sine x over two one plus cosine x. And now if I plug in zero. Wait, how did you get the sine x over x? I pulled out. I, I took sine squared x and split it up into sine x times sine x. Okay. And I just left one of them here with the main fraction and pulled mm -hmm. the sine x over this x out front. Because what I want to do is I want to get rid of that x okay. on the denominator, because mm -hmm. that's the problem when I try to plug in the zero. Mm -hmm. The limit as x goes to zero, mm -hmm. that's, so where I, that's where I have my problem. Mm -hmm. So now that turns into one, right? I mean, I guess I technically should probably write that still out here. It equals the limit as x goes to zero of sine x over x times the limit as x goes to zero of that mess. So this thing goes to one, and this thing right here, now I can plug in zero. What's sine of zero? One. Mm -hmm. Sine of zero is one, and what's cosine of zero? Cosine of zero is one. Wait, Negative cosine one. starts on the 
at the origin, right? Cosine is the x value. So think of your unit circle. I think I have my unit circle over here. There you go. There's your unit circle. Here's the cosine of zero. The cosine, sine, whoops. One. Did we do this wrong this whole time? The cosine is one and the sine is zero. Oh, no, the cosine is one. Oh yeah, no, that was right. You couldn't do that in the first place either. Mm -hmm. The cosine of zero is one. So you couldn't, it was indeterminate at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we could, could have done. So, so this is actually zero and this is, this is four. It's zero over four, which is zero. Okay. So it's just zero? Yeah, it's zero. Okay. I'm still confused on how you got the sine of X, like on the top to equal zero though. Uh, when I plug in zero, what's the sine of zero? I'm plugging in, I'm taking the limit as x goes to zero. That's, that's what oh, we're so to do. Oh, so you just do. plug in zero, so then like sine of zero mm -hmm. still The sine of zero is zero. Is zero. The cosine of zero is one. And so you had zero over two times two, which is four. Now you couldn't, why couldn't you have just done it here, you ask? Because yeah. sine of zero is zero. So you can't plug you would you can't plug you can't plug the zero in at this point okay. either because you have zero over zero. We're trying to get rid of that bottom x right there, okay. mm -hmm. and we got rid of it by breaking this up, so that we have sine x over x. And then, and then once we did that, now we can take that expression, and now when we plug it in, we don't have an indeterminate mm -hmm. solution. Indeterminate is when you have zero over zero. We didn't have that. We hit zero so over it's okay four. if you have like zero over something. You can have I zero know. over four. You can't have zero over zero. And you can't have something over zero. Mm -hmm. It's not, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, so then it would just be, the limit would just be going to zero. Yeah, so the limit of this whole thing is just zero.